Hello, I'm Mr. Ed. This is Hollywood Center Studios in Hollywood on Las Palmas. And tons of TV shows have been filmed in this place, in movies, I'm sure, but I can't name the movies, but a lot of TV shows. Perry Mason was shot here. Uh, Lucy, I Love Lucy was here for two years until they moved to a different studio. Uh, the Adams Family, Green Acres, Petticoat Junction, That Girl, Ozzie and Harriet. They filmed the Onion Field movie here, which is interesting because I just did some shooting of that, uh, that story. I married Joan and the Beverly Hillbillies. Also, Mr. Ed was shot here. Uh, Mr. Ed, the talking horse, was uh, was shot in this place, in this uh, studio. And uh, we went to, uh, Jordan and I went to where one of the Mr. Eds is buried and I'm going to go to where Mr. Ed was born. But this is where Mr. Ed was shot. My friend Marla grew up, actually, uh, on one of the, on the street just down there. Not that one, but the next one. And she said she used to see Mr. Ed uh, being delivered in his, uh, in his trailer every day to work. And there's pictures of uh, Clint Eastwood was on that show. Mae West was on that show. That was kind of a creepy one because she was kind of being sexy with Mr. Ed on the phone. She didn't know he was a horse, I think. <laughs> Hello. Hello, is this Mr. Post speaking? No, I'm his associate. Who is this, please? This is Miss Mae West speaking. Well, I saw one of your movies on TV last night. Wow! That was my movie, all right. <laughs> when do you think Mr. Post can start designing my stables? Well, when would you want him to start? Immediately. Tell him I'm a lady who's not used to waiting. You have an interesting voice. Are you married? No, but uh, I'm not your type. Honey, they haven't invented the man that isn't my type. <laughs> This is my record album, Mr. Ed, The Talking Horse, straight from the horse's mouth. Thank you to my friend Tomas, who uh, sent this to me. Can fish talk? Why do birds sing? Songs and talk about facts you never knew. 1962, the Mr. Ed Company. The TV show Mr. Ed, I think, ran from 61 to 66 and starred Alan Young and Mr. Ed, who was a horse called Bamboo Harvester. And Bamboo Harvester and Ellen Young, sometimes they used a different horse. horse. <laughs> sometimes they used a different horse to be uh, Mr. Ed in like still photos and stuff like that. But I did get to meet Ellen Young one time, who was Wilbur. And that is a drawing or a copy of a drawing that Ellen Young did. And he signed it to me. And when I told him what I did, how I used to work, you know, Grave Line Tours was my old job, he said, Oh, you know what? My wife was good friends with Sharon Tate, and she was invited up to the party at the house that night. It was that freely <laughs> flowed out of his mouth, and though there was no party. But anyway, Mr. Ed, Bamboo Harvester. That's Mr. Ed's mailbox. Mr. Ed was actually born, some people say El Monte, some people say Reseda. Uh, it doesn't really matter where Mr. Ed was born, because he was raised, actually. Were you raised in a barn? And he was. That is the original Mr. Ed barn that the actual real bamboo harvester, Mr. Ed, was born or raised in. It was called the Harvester Farms back then. This, uh, this area, we're in Chatsworth. There were a lot of ranches back then. Uh, around this area and there are very few left because it's begun so developed now but bamboo harvester the horse he was uh born in 1949 and uh and he was a saddle bred part arabian horse and it was mr ed ran 61 to 66. Uh, he was born in 1949 and trained by will rogers protege les hilton uh, as I said, people kind of disagree where he was actually born, but he was certainly raised in this building uh, and brought into Hollywood every day to film the show Mr. Ed, which I showed you the uh, soundstage from Mr. Ed earlier. 
1968, two years after Mr. Ed was canceled, uh, Bamboo Harvester, who was 19 years old, was suffering from uh, a lot of age-related ailments, including kidney problems and arthritis. And he was en eventually um, put down in 1970, and he's buried, well, you'll see. But this is one of the last original barns, red barns, in the valley that still exists. It was the headquarters for the Palomino Association. It's a historic landmark. And uh, this whole area used to be filled with, with uh, ranches. And there's still a couple of old cowboy bars around. Yeah, cowboy saloons around here. And we're actually not very far from um, where the Spawn Ranch was as well. So you can see it's a beautiful neighborhood. And uh, and this is where they used to bring Mr. Ed from to work in Hollywood every day. And there's another friend over there, my friend Nikki. I'm going to go across the street right now, but Nikki's going to meet, introduce me to uh, another friend of hers named Barney. So let me move my car, and you will see. Hopefully, Barney. He'll, hopefully, he'll be out. To see you. Barney. <laughs> hey Barney. Hi Barney. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sweet boy. Good morning, Barney. Barney. Mr. Bernie, sir. Oh, it's so nice to meet you. And you love strawberries, don't you? He's about like 27. 27. Hi, Bernie. Can I give you one of those? Can I? Yeah, I think he's in the middle of the okay. strawberry. But he'll definitely take Aren't you the sweetest boy? Look at him. You ready? Look <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love him so much. <laughs> he is such a sweet boy. Isn't he cute? One more? Oops, there you go. He likes to be hand fed. Hi, Nikki's <laughs> Bernie's friend. And Nikki's my old friend. Helped with Six Degrees of Helter Skelter. You saw her in that. Guitar teacher extraordinaire and friend of Barney. And Barney. Ah, uh, bless him. <laughs> Thanks, Nikki, for introducing me to Barney. Now, a while back, Jordan and I went to Oklahoma, actually, and I visited Mr. Ed's final resting place. But before I take you there by video, on the day I made the video at the studio where they made uh, Mr. Ed, I went to Forest Lawn to start on another video, and I just happened to meet Candy. And this is just coincidentally, completely coincidentally, and serendipitously, and, well, here's Candy. But stay tuned for Mr. Ed's burial location. Boy, she is. How old is Candy? She's 20 now, so she's getting up there. It'd be 69 in human years. But and have you had her the whole time? I've had her for about 14 years. Wow. She was an Amish horse, worked on an Amish farm. Oh, really? Miles and stuff like that. So she's a hard worker. Yeah. Candy and her owner, Wayne, are a organization called Final Honor. And really Final cute. Honor is a privately owned horse-drawn funeral carriage company working on any Veterans Administration Cemetery in the USA, providing an unforgettable service for any veteran, regardless of rank or time served, at no cost to the family. They are uh, donation only, and it's not mandatory. This tribute will be a lasting legacy to those who served honorably or sacrificed their lives in service to our nation as a thank you for their service to America. For this, or yeah, the families, uh, they book us through Forest Lawn. I see. So Forest Lawn offers this and bagpipers and dove releases and stuff like that. And so when the families want it, Forest Lawn oh. gives us a call and we show up. That's nice. That's really nice. Oh, yes, 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 ma'am. Can I? Oh, Do you yeah. mind? Hey there. Hello. You're a sweet girl, too. You are a sweet girl. 
Very nice. Thank you. The man behind Mr. Ed's speaking voice was former cowboy actor Rocky Lane. On screen, it was never fully explained why Mr. Ed even spoke and why only to Wilbur. Only one time was it addressed in all 143 episodes. Wilbur asked why, and Mr. Ed's response, Don't try. It's bigger than both of us. There are all sorts of stories about how they got Mr. Ed to uh, move his mouth. One is that they used nylon thread. Another, spreading peanut butter on his gums. But according to uh, Alan Young, the star of the show, Ed was a very intelligent animal who learned to move his lips on cue when his trainer touched his hoof. Towards the end of Bamboo Harvester's life, Alan Young said that he'd frequently visited him in his barn in Southern California. Young said he thinks the horse died inadvertently from a tranquilizer given by a temporary caregiver and that the horse's remains were cremated and scattered in Los Angeles somewhere. Now another story says that Bamboo Harvester, suffering from age-related ailments, was euthanized in 1970 with no publicity and buried at this farm in Oklahoma. To complicate things, there was another Mr. Ed, a horse called Pumpkin, who was brought in for publicity appearances and still photographs. Now, it's possible that this grave is for Pumpkin and not Bamboo Harvester, or it's possible the other way around. Either way, this is Ann Ed's grave, and it wasn't marked until 1990 when fans dedicated this granite marker in this field in Oklahoma. The clever theme song was co-written and sung by Jay Livingston. A horse is a horse, of course, of course, and no one can talk to a horse, of course. That is, of course, unless the horse is the famous Mr. Ed. Go right to the source and ask the horse. He'll give you the answer that you'll endorse. He's always on a steady course. Talk to Mr. Ed. People yakety yak a streak and waste your time of day, but Mr. Ed will never speak unless he has something to say. A horse is a horse, of course, of course, and this one will talk till his voice is hoarse. Now, believe it or not, there is actually a Mr. Ed ghost story. Back in 1990, after they placed the monument in this field in Oklahoma, patrons of a local diner witnessed his ghost. Uh, They say the place had just closed and the people were standing around the parking lot. The sky was black and threatening rain. Suddenly there was a blinding flash of lightning and a deafening crash of thunder. Then we heard it. It was unmistakably the Mr. Ed theme song. Next we heard what sounded like galloping in the distance. The clouds parted a bit and we saw this glowing figure of a running horse. It was Mr. Ed, but he looked different from TV. He was glowing and he appeared to have golden hooves. They heard the unmistakable voice of Mr. Ed as they heard so many times on TV. I want to thank all the good people who placed that magnificent granite monument on my grave. And I want to give my best to my old sidekick Wilbur and all my loyal fans. Tell them I run in green pastures in heaven and I'm happy as a horse can be. Thank you very much for watching. If you could uh, see it in your heart to sponsor me by the Patreon link below or by PayPal. As you can see, I travel all over the country and sometimes uh, I go to different countries to uh, show you some cool stuff. So if you could hit subscribe and like and all that kind of business too. But your donations go a long way. So thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for your attention. And until next time. You've never heard of a talking horse? Well, listen to this. I am Mr. Ed.